alteration. The dress fit her perfectly for years. It wore comfortably, and she liked the way she looked in it. Until one day, it suddenly felt too short, too tight, the seams frame. She tried to adjust it, pulled and tugged, but it didn't help. She saw it on another layer of fabric, but it looked and felt all wrong. So she took off the dress, and with trembling hands started to rip out the seams. Naked. She shivered as she threaded the needle and slowly began to sew the pieces back together in a new pattern that would fit a new shape and eventually would feel right. So there's a lot of musings. For example, uh, you know how we have those friends and we have moved from high school or from college where we have all these shared life with them. We go way back and we've grown up together and we know each other's history. And then uh, when you make friends later in life, you meet a person who's coming with 40, 50 years of, of life stories. So I was uh, wondering how you get to know people of, at our age and this possible image. We each tow the iceberg of our past, cragged below the surface of time. What we know of one another fills a thimble. We yearn to share oceans. How do we tell the stories of tangled lives? We never start at the beginning. We pull loops from the skin without digging for the end of the thread. We weave patches and stitch them together without a pattern. The tapestry will never be complete. We fill in the holes in the image of our desires.